So, what an absolute mess I have. Kind of got to clean this up before I can do anything and show you guys any progress and project updates. So, we'll get right into that. clean now all right so you're gonna have to keep up with me here I'm gonna be going over a lot of stuff um, here lately still been having some health issues and it's really affecting what I normally do and it's been a huge mental game so I've been down here messing around in the garage quite often and I've been messing around with some projects here and at work a little bit just to uh, stay motivated and keep my morale up during all this. But one thing that I've been doing a lot of here lately is kind of collecting stuff or getting going out and buying new stuff because I'm just kind of bored. I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. But I have some... Uh, new things out here and some that some of you guys have seen before I'm just gonna go over it real quick all this stuff was on this workbench by the way every everything you see here was on the workbench and uh, some of which are some tools I use for some of the projects and others are some heads some new some old that you guys have seen but I'll probably walk down there and pick them up and bring them over here so you can see them a little better but starting off over here down in the bottom left corner I have a new to me plum and it's supposedly four pound it's got a four stamped on it probably not going to be in focus but there's a four right above the plum um, I actually finally got myself a scale and this is like 3.88 pounds, I think. Let's go check that. All right, so we're at zero right now. Luckily, this axe is like, I don't think it's ever been used, in all honesty. Like, look at the pole. Pretty much perfect. A few chips here, but could be just from the way it was stored. Still got paint on it. That is 3 pounds, 14.8 ounces, and I'll do the little conversion. <clears throat> so I'm excited about this one. I paid a pretty penny for this guy. And I know they're fairly common, but I didn't have one, and the time to buy something is when you see it. So, All right, so back to the lineup. We've got the old Century jersey right there. It's uh, a little bit under three and a half pounds unfortunately but no big deal then we've got a another jersey with the phantom bevels this thing is just destroyed use this hammer more than anything and it says true temper Kelly works I believe so this could have been a really nice axe Somebody mashed the hell out of it and did some grinding. Custom. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. This is the handle it was on. Just look at the rust on that. It was four bucks though. 
from a pretty well made handle. And we've got six pound mall, new council uh, jersey, Michigan pattern, three and a half ish pounds. Um, this axe head is actually going on this handle right here. This is just from using the wrong kind of saw blade to cut this handle down, thin it down a little bit, but this is going to be about a 27 and a half or 28 inch race style handle for that. I'm not going to jam it all the way on there, but it'll be going on there. Pretty pleased with this ash handle so far. Got this old brush axe that I found at work many years ago. I actually had this on this 36 inch handle. Uh, I did that a long time ago when I put that on there. I should have bought a straight handle, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I took that off and I was actually planning on putting this Michigan pattern on that handle, but I don't know, it, it was just a bit too long. And I've got this little, I guess it would be a half hatchet, sort of. No clue what I'm going to do with it, but my boss gave it to me. It was found in one of the old buildings that, where I work, so brought it home with me. So, got a draw knife here. Two hammers that I've rehandled. Finally got a new angle gauge. Got my Shinto rasp. A little axe vise that I made for my vise to help with filing. Some little scrap pieces of wood and wedges I've made. And then a little caliper. This guy here I actually just bought today. Uh, I took my old truck out for a drive and Stopped at one of the local hardware stores, picked this guy up. I'll probably do a video on that. That's the handle for the Kelly Works. Handle for the Michigan. Just a handle I bought at the same hardware store several months back. That is it's about thirty it's thirty six right now, but the axe head will sit about thirty five. We've got that handle. And then this axe has it's gonna be having its own video series old race handle that kind of used for training a little bit and then I've got this half hatchet I've been working on um, I made this handle from a really old piece of ash that was given to me and I bought this half hatchet head for five dollars in an antique store so that'll be a cool little project when I get it done But yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, I'll get in. I'll show you some of my new-to-me hardware store axes. All right, so in the same purchase as that half hatchet over there, I got a few other things for pretty good prices. I picked up this hatchet here for, I don't know, $15, I think. It's in good shape overall. Obviously, it's pretty weathered. But I think that weathered look is amazing when you when you go to restore them. I've actually got another hatchet that looked just like this. So this is the one. It it looked almost identical to the condition of this one. Um, I found this one at campground where I used to work. And uh, yeah, it was rough looking, but obviously it's pretty freaking gorgeous now. It's not a very old axe. It's actually made in 2003, but so yeah, got that. Got this old school council jersey pattern, and this one's got three and a half stamp there, council logo, and this one has definitely been used as a for hammering stuff down, which is unfortunate, but should be able to cold forge it back down a little bit and 
cut all that mushrooming off and make it look right. The edge is not terrible. And it came on this like octagonal style handle that the Beatles like just ravaged. Um, but it, it's definitely not the original handle because you can see these like flap disc marks where somebody tried to get that handle in there. There's no wedge. Um, but I think I got this for $16, which is quite a bit cheaper than what you can buy a brand new one for. Here's the new one. Not much difference there. A little bit different angle on the edge, but not a whole lot. So yeah, I'm excited for that one. And I also picked up this here. Don't really know what it is yet. I don't see any markings on it. I might uncover some stuff later, but I'd say it's around three, three and a half pounds as well. Probably three. Um, it's not a wedge pattern from what I can tell. It does, this is difficult to show you. I mean, it does taper down a little bit. I mean, it's tough to show you, but it's not a true wedge pattern. And it's on a 28 inch handle that's just covered in tape. I actually swung this axe a little bit just to get a feel for it. And it's just way too fat to do anything, it just bounces. But that should be a cool little axe build there. I'd like to put the same length handle, same style handle on it as what it came with. Got myself this little kitchen scale and it seems to be quite accurate for these axe heads um, I think it's got a maximum 5,000 grams I don't know what that is 10 11 pounds maybe um, the other is that a new bevel gauge um, I lost my other one or somebody took it I don't know good thing to have Dang, you can tell I hadn't been chopping. That's pitiful. Uh, the axe I bought today. It's a Tecton. Turn the other one. Tecton 2.5 pound felling axe. Model 3250. Alright, so. This axe here, I am very excited about. It's a Montreal hybrid. <laughs> Flares really far out. Um... 1500 grams is what it's advertising as and look at this handle obviously loud and proud made in China this is like textbook hardware store this one is hung pretty straight edge is stupid fat as suspected but this one's not bananaed um, you got all these like bumps in the forge work, which is not terrible. I can grind that out. Here's the uh, 1250 gram version that I've already been tinkering with and experimenting on. So this build will probably be similar. Um, the stock weight right now should be about 3.3 pounds. And um, yeah, it'll it'll have a slightly longer handle. I'm actually thinking about turning this into a proper Montreal pattern, where I cut this down a little bit so it doesn't flare as much, and then the same down here. Um, that'll significantly bring the weight down. But um, this one's got a little more available material for doing that, as opposed to this one. So. I bought this for $16 at like a little cheap consignment type resale store. I tried to buy another one just like this, but the guy wanted he wanted like $15 or something. I tried to talk him down to 10 because that's what I bought this one for. And he was like, nope, didn't even want to entertain the idea. So I went to another place and they had that bigger version of it for 16 So I went ahead and snatched it. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I've been playing around with. Over here in this box, I've got 
two Liam Hoffman 32 inch handles hickory they're actually slightly longer I think than 32 but I mean they're designed to be cut down but anyways if you want these I'm open to a trade or for you to buy them off of me I don't know if he's got any more in stock but I have no problem selling these for what I paid possibly even lower just so that I know they go somewhere where somebody's going to use them. I don't really see myself using them for any of these projects. Um, they're just not really my style. And I don't have a pretty axe that would be deserving of a handle like that, in my opinion. So, I'll leave my email for this channel in the link. And if anybody wants these, let me know. Um, if they sell, I'll, I'll let you know somehow that they've been sold. So... So I just did something kind of stupid um, just to get a laugh out of it. But I put this four pound plum on this 36 inch handle. Oops. And uh, kind of took some dry swings with it. And wow. The, uh, the guys who used to do that, like cut down timber with heavier axe like that on a thin long handle they you know they had to be just flinging that thing you can't really technically chop like you can't be a, a super technical chopper when you have that long of a handle and that heavy of a head weight on it because yeah you unless you're hulk you're not going to be holding that thing or lifting that thing properly. It's going to be like a, a full motion swing and it's going to be a bit whippy. Um, and I'm assuming that a fairly thin profile would be beneficial. There's a lot stronger people out there than m myself swinging these things. So they may have a little bit different of an opinion. But yeah, like this is why people hate the American axe because like there's this consensus or idea with the uh, general public that you've got to have a 36 inch handle and like a four or five pound head for it to be a proper axe. This is a, this is a bit goofy and awkward feeling. And I've swung axes that are seven pounds and uh, yeah, they don't feel nearly as awkward as this thing does. But if you have any um, any ideas, anything you want me to talk about, like any ideas for videos for myself or something you want to hear from me, see from me, just go ahead and let me know. I've got a bunch of ideas written down, and I do have a lot of plans for doing certain things when my health returns. Uh, fingers crossed on that. Um, so some of the things, it, like some of the things you might suggest, I may already have heard it from somebody or. Uh, thought of it myself, but yeah, definitely let me know what you're thinking because I, I mean, I'm not really doing this to look like a badass or show people that I'm a better chopper than anybody. I'm doing this to get outside of my comfort zone and help people learn, learn from other people and kind of learn with you guys that are watching this stuff. So yeah, just let me know in the comment section or let me know uh, directly what you think I should do. It could be anything. It could be anything with just specific acts, video topic, maybe story time, whatever. Just let me know.